We're not actually making a computer game, that's a big lie. Um, we're actually making a hobby. These things cost so much money, and so complicated, that unless we can convince people to stop having a normal life and spend three hours a night playing it for a year, we haven't done our job. And that's completely different to virtually any other type of computer game that gets made and put out on the market. Climax were a small studio based in Nottingham, and Nottingham of course is the home of Warhammer, so they decided to take on the Warhammer IP. They would not had that much experience with RPGs or online games, they were mainly working for PlayStation doing some small titles, but they had an early partnership with Microsoft to try and help build the back-end technology. Climax wanted this game to be grim and have a dark atmosphere, just like the Warhammer world. In an interview with GameZone, Climax said, Warhammer aims at a grittier realism, where the downtrodden peasant is suitably terrified by the monsters that really do go bump in the night, mainly when they drop the bodies they have been carrying. They wanted to create a different kind of MMO. They wanted to create no visible loading in the game at all, so when you're in the Warhammer world you can walk seamlessly around the 3D environment. They wanted the NCPs to have different costumes and all unique designs, not a single character would be the same. Just like the tabletop games of the past, they wanted to have a general manager on the server, somebody who would be centralised, who would create events, who would keep the server flowing, keep it interesting. Working with Sega for distribution, Microsoft for the technology backend, and Games Workshop, they seem to be going ahead with E3 launches, lots of press was out there, and they were the talk of the town. After years of work and millions of pounds spent, it seemed this game was never going to get released, and the main problem it seems was the relationship between Games Workshop and Climax. This led to Games Workshop dropping Climax and the project. By June of 2004, Games Workshop estimated it would take £30 million to finish and launch, and they deemed it too expensive. Climax, however, had invested a lot of money and a lot of time in this project, so they continued to fund it out of their own pockets, struggling to find a funding partner. Climax eventually had to drop the game, and in 2008, Mythic Entertainment released Age of the Reckoning Warhammer Online, published by Electronic Arts, with the designer Paul Barnett from Climax. Now they dropped everything that Climax did and created a total different style of MMO. As you can see from this footage, Climax got quite far and I have a lot of additional footage after this video so wait till the end and check out the links. Thank you for watching and I'm going to leave you with the final statement by Climax Entertainment regarding Warhammer Online. It is with a great deal of sadness that I inform the community that we have decided to discontinue the development of Warhammer Online and will be closing down the website with immediate effect. This has been a very difficult and painful decision but it was taken following a full review of progress of the game, costs to date and future costs of the project. As a result, both Games Workshop and Climax Development Limited, the computer games developer, have agreed to terminate the development project. I would like to say a personal thank you to all the people that have followed our development over the past years. Your constant support and enthusiasm has meant a great deal to us.